Hello guys and welcome to this uh, video how to do a spotting in Ben Gurion International Airport in Tel Aviv, Israel. I'm going to show you uh, a few places where you can come and do a spotting in this airport. Uh, but first of all I want to tell you about a few facts about the, this airport. Ben Gurion Airport is not located exactly in Tel Aviv, it's uh, 19 uh, kilometers southeast uh, of Tel Aviv. Another thing that you probably doesn't know is in Israel uh, Sunday is the first day of the week. It's a work day, story day, it's, uh, it's like a Monday in the other countries. So Saturday is the day off and Friday uh, is a half day work and study. This is important for two things. One, the first one. If you want to come to Israel to uh, take pictures of Israeli airlines, Saturday is not a good day because you won't see a lot of uh, of these uh, airlines uh, flying. And the best day uh, for this is on Sunday's morning. Uh, you will see a lot, of, a lot of uh, takeoffs, and if you want to see uh, landings, the best day is Friday. Uh, between 11 a.m. and one hour before sunset. And the other thing that is important to know about uh, Saturday is uh, all the places that I'm going to show you to a spot. Uh, they have a, a store or a supermarket uh, nearby where you can buy something to drink or to eat. But all these places are closed on uh, Saturdays. Uh, even from uh, Friday uh, afternoon until s uh, Sunday morning, everything is closed. This is the airport and the airport has uh, three runways. I'm going to show you how this uh, runway uh, works based on a normal day. The first runway on the main runway is the uh, runway 26 and 08. It's the longest, longest uh, runway in the airport. It's uh, 4,062 meters. The runway 26 is uh, the main runway for takeoffs. It's 99-98% uh, of the takeoffs uh, are, are from this uh, runway. And you will see takeoffs uh, all day uh, between 5 a.m. and 1 uh, a.m between uh, 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. the airport is closed uh, for takeoffs. Frontway 08 is basically used for uh, emer emergency landing uh, because it's this, this is the longest uh, runway uh, in the airport. Then we have the runway uh, 30 and 12. This is a, a runway of uh, 3,112 meters. On the runway 30 you will see landings between 10, 10 a.m. and uh, 8 or 9 p.m. And you remember that I told you that the runway 26 is the 98 or 99 percent of takeoffs. So from this uh, runway 30 you will see the other uh, 2 percent. Then we have runway 12 you will see uh, landings uh, between 9 p.m. and 10 a.m. Then we have the runway uh, 21 and 03. This is the shortest uh, runway in the airport. It's uh, 2,772 meters. From runway 21, you will see landings uh, between uh, 10 a.m. until uh, sunset. And runway 03 is not an active runway. Now let's start with the spotting places. Uh, I'm going to show you four places uh, to spot in uh, Ben Gurion Airport. There are many places uh, where to spot, uh, but uh, if you are a tourist or person that wants to come to Israel to do a spotting, I think this is the the easy ones to get. So the first place uh, is called Safriya. Pro is probably the most uh, popular a place to spot in Israel. The place is located close uh, to this uh, small town uh, called Safriya and is a gas station. 
from this gas station you can have a takeoffs of runway 26 and also takeoffs from runway uh, 30 and you can have a picture like this And also you can take pictures of a uh, planes landing on runway 12 and get pictures like this. And this is how the place looks. This is the gas station. You can park uh, your car over here and this small building is a small store you can buy something to eat something to drink and if you uh, ask nicely you can use the toilets remember that on saturday this is closed next to the gas station there is another uh, spotting place called the uh, agesher the bridge it's uh, pretty close to the gas station five minutes walking and from also from this uh, spot you can uh, take pictures of a uh, takeoff uh, on runway 26 and 30 and you can have landings on runway 12 from the bridge you can uh, actually see the runways from the bridge you can have a picture like this uh, take off runway 26 and you can have also a uh, great pictures uh, landings wrong way one two like this and this is the bridge over here next to the gas station you have to walk a few minutes to go away to the top of the bridge and stay always in the on the sidewalk don't try to cross the street to this side it's not worth it you won't see uh, any better and uh, it's dangerous you can uh, be hidden by the car and there is a bonus uh, if you're going to this uh, place uh, you will see or you will have the company of these uh, little green fellas especially in the morning and uh, the afternoons the second place is uh, our cafe it's a small coffee house it's a building of uh, three three floor uh, buildings and uh, they are, they have a, a small uh, balcony in the top of the building and from here you can uh, take picture of a uh, landing wrong with white one two like this And you can also can take pictures, uh, uh, take off strong way to six. And this is how the place looks. This is the coffee house, and uh, this is the balcony. This is the way how you get the the top of the balcony. From here. You can take pictures of the landings coming from this way and uh, you will see a uh, takeoffs uh, coming from this way. This is an old picture. Now here there is a parking lot. If you don't want to go to the top of the balcony, you can take pictures from here from the parking lot. Uh, this is an area with a lot of restaurants and uh, coffee houses uh, with the uh, toilets and everything but remember it's closed on Saturday the third place is called Supersal it's a, a supermarket and there is a restaurant also in this area uh, not everybody loves this place because there is a lot of uh, light posts and trees that can make it uh, difficult to take pictures of the planes 
but actually I love that kind of pictures uh, with something on the frame and uh, from this place you can have a uh, landing from wrong wing to one and pictures like this this is a uh, the parking lot and uh, if you see this uh, green spot over here this is the place where I where I from uh, take the pictures the fourth place is called airport city is this whole area of the, of here from this you can uh, take pictures of uh, landings on runway 30 this whole area is a, a spotting place you can take pictures from here from anywhere there is a a lot of uh, coffee houses restaurants but uh, I like this place over here uh, because uh, it's uh, far away a, a little bit far away from uh, all the traffic and uh, people and this is how the place looks Now this is closed, this is not working anymore, this is a parking lot, this is an open space, you can park your car over here and go uh, to this place, you will see the planes coming this way, landing that way, and from here a few minutes walking uh, you, will s you will have uh, restaurants, coffee houses and toilets. I'm going to put in the description video the location of every point of the spotting places so you can uh, get them using uh, Google Maps and this is it these are the uh, spotting places in Ben Gurion Airport uh, I recommend them to use the Fly Radar 24 app to uh, know the active runways and uh, even that uh, those are public places there is a chance that you get uh, visited by the uh, police officer or maybe a uh, security guard from the airport if they ask you to leave the place just leave the place there is no way uh, to argue argument with them thank you for watching this video i hope you find this uh, video very useful and I invite you to follow my Instagram accounts also my Facebook page and my uh, YouTube channel thank you bye